What's going on guys? This is Austin FFA or Luna. How you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And I am bringing you a life story today on my new channel, the first of many. And um, yeah, so on this channel, I'm just going to take everything I love to do and just bind it all together. I love to trick shot, so I'm going to go online, do six manning, use the gameplay for commentaries like this one, life stories. And I love to tell life stories, so it's going to be mainly those. So, um... So let's see, to start this channel off, I picked one of my best ones. It's kind of um, a remake from my old channel, like it was posted on that one. But I had to uh, take that channel down for stupid reasons. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, to start this off, we were at my house. And um, we were having a bonfire, me and my one friend. And we were just kind of fucking around with fire like we would usually do. Because we were retards. So um, we were... We first of all the first mistake, the first red flag, is we started it with gasoline. <laughs> now, if any of you have any experience with bonfires, you you shouldn't like you never pour gas on an ongoing fire or else you're just going to fuck yourself. Like bottom line, you're going to blow yourself up. So, we got lucky already just pouring that on. Like we poured it on and it went up in flames and no shit, it's a fire, but it just got huge and it was we have a power line that goes over my backyard and it's pretty low right now due to like all the snow and rain that's been hitting it so it was so low that the fire was starting to hit the power line and I'm like oh fuck so um that's kind of besides the point that the fire went down and the power line has nothing to do with the actual fire that happens so my buddy's like oh you know fire's dying down it's uh it's, it's the wood isn't burning enough, you know, get more gas. I'm like, no, there's no way we do. We're going like, to, like, I I predicted it. I'm like, dude, I'm going to set my house on fire. <laughs> We're not doing that because we already learned from the first time. It's, uh, gets big. So he's like, dude, just come on. It'll be fine. You know, just get the gasoline. I'm like, fine. So I got it. And I stood from afar and I, like, ran and I tried to shoot the gasoline. Like, let's see. It went, I went probably about halfway like about halfway like 10 feet away from it and then tried to shoot it that far away so what it did it was created a line of gas and it hit the fire and it traveled up the line of gasoline to where my gas can was so i was like fuck because the tip of the gas can was caught fire and i'm like okay if this streams if this goes into the gas can i'm gonna blow up and hey dog my dog walked in how you doing charlie so um anyway so if it went into the gas can, I would just explode and I wouldn't be making this commentary for you guys. So I'm running with this can and the tip is on fire and everything behind me is catching fire due to the fact that it's pouring out of the can while I'm running with it. And my mom comes out screaming bloody murder. She's like, what the fuck is going on? And I turn around after like, because I was running with the gas can facing behind me. So everything behind me was just catching a, a, a blaze so I turn around and I just see the side of my house is fucking on fire, the side of my pool is on fire and the rock and the grass is on fire and then I look down and my pajamas were on fire so I dropped the gas can and just fucking beat the shit out of my thighs to get the fire out and, I, and my friend's like fuck so he jumps over the line of fire and runs inside my house and shuts the door and um, my mom grabs the hose and Thank God for her in this situation. She managed to put it out on the house. So our house was okay. And, um, every, like, the, the gas can must have, like, I guess the constant running did something, but the gas can ended up losing at the flame, so that didn't end up blowing up or anything like that. And, um, my brother called the fire department, and they were down pretty quick. But the aftermath looked about, let's see, I mean, let me just give you a mental picture of what the aftermath looked like. Um, the side of my house, I could probably pull a picture up. I'm going to post a picture in the video. The side of my house was just, like, there's a, there's a part of it in the corner where it's just black. And my street doesn't have good reps for fires, guys. I feel like everyone on my street had a fire incident in their house. And, um, the gas can we just threw away. <laughs> like, we, we dumped... I don't know what we did with the gas. I can't remember. Um... I cannot remember, but let's see, the fire department showed up, and they, they pulled me aside with my buddy, and they were like, you know, you're going to have to take a, a month of this 
fire safety class, and they, they just put us in this bullshit class that uh, all the bad kids go. But it was just so fucking stupid. Basically, all they told you is, uh, you know, don't play with fire. You know, never take an axe can and make it into a flamethrower, which I found so fucking funny, guys, because we were actually doing that that night, you know, where you take the axe can and you light the lighter and you make it like a flamethrower. We were actually doing that while the fire was lit, which is, my God, guys, if you're listening to this, don't fucking ever do that. It's, it's so stupid because if you inhale while you're doing it, the chemicals can actually go in your throat and burn your throat out, which is... <laughs> Not something you want to be feeling, you know, I think you guys all want to talk in the future. So, um, anyway, the fire department guys really, we got this one guy who was talking to us, he looked like he was about 22. He was a real cool guy, he was just saying, you know, he was like, guys, I've done way worse. When I was younger, I'm pretty sure I burned a house down. <laughs> and, um, it was, you know, it came, everything turned out okay, which I am happy about. And, um, you know, I'm lucky to be here. <laughs> Because um, I wish I had a video of it because, my God, guys, it was not fun. And it was a very dangerous time to be living in. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that is the story. If you le if you liked it, please drop a like, subscribe, add it to your favorites, and uh, really help support and grow my channel. And there will be many more of these to come. I have many stories in the vault of Austin, FFA, or Luna. <laughs> So yeah, guys, this has been Austin FFA or Luna bringing you a life story, Titanfall gameplay commentary. Peace.